Hey, the team who didn't, who's with the practice squad, what have you. Dynamic kickoff. Codrington is not going to take it nine yards deep in the end zone out to the field of play. So a touchback, and now it's Andrew Peasley's turn to take over the Jets offense. He saw what Adrian Martinez did, 12 of 20 for 99 yards. Martinez also had 23 yards on the ground. We've seen Peasley use those wheels in the first two preseason games. So that's part of his repertoire as well. The rookie out of Wyoming, transferred from Utah State. Very efficient last season. Just under 2,000 yards, 20 touchdowns, five interceptions, 419 rushing yards, and seven touchdowns on the ground. It's a running play, and it's Valade getting stacked up. So you saw Martinez in the first half. You're going to see Peasley in the second half. This has been the preseason, basically, for the Jets. It's been a lot of Martinez, a lot of Peasley, and now Peasley's going to make a stake uh, for himself here. And let's see who does. I see that 14 with the Jets. Who do you think? I think of Darnold, but I know there's a long history of 14. Richard Todd was 14? Yes. Who else? Yes. Uh, you want to go through the let's litany go. Let's of 14? 14's on the Jets. I, I mean, we've we got a lot of time in the second half. We, we can do it. Let's give Peasley his time. Sorry. Field the play. Second down and as did for the Jets. Lee. Touchdowns on the ground. Day remains in there. Again, this is his second year from Arizona State. Peasley's pass did hit the 10-3 just underway here in this third quarter. It's a third and seven. Peasley in the pocket. Peasley tosses. And that's, that's a, a catch. Catch made. Gets. Motion man is McCutcheon. First down here for the green and white. Handoff. Nothing there for Valaday. Held to no gain. On the play, Giants were prepared with K.J. Cloyd, the rookie out of Miami, the linebacker, making the stop. You know how we say every NFL player has a story. We told you Adrian Martinez is going from one college to another, to the Lions, to the UFL. How about this? Yes, he was a transfer and did the Utah State one. Not invited to the combine. Not drafted. And then didn't even initially sign with the Jets as an undrafted free agent. Only joined the team on May 6th after a successful tryout at the rookie minicamp. So another cool story, and the Jets had the wherewithal to say, okay, we didn't draft him, we didn't sign him as an undrafted guy, but we're going to give him a shot. The pass incomplete. He was trying to stick it in there to Winstead. Peasley telling us that he had no other invites. It was yeah. not like he had a cadre of teams to choose from, and he selected the Jets because of the opportunity. This was the only opportunity. 17 and 9 as a starter at Wyoming, and he led the team to its first nine win season in 27 years last year. And they won a bowl game. They won the Barstool, Barstool Sports add out to all the folks at Barstool. Peasley's got that on its resume forever. Peasley. Peasley's going to. Jets, who do you think? I Valid yes. Walks the tightrope for a first oh. down. Whoa, 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 whoa. And a major collision on the <laughs> sideline. 14's on the Jets. I mean, Everybody appears to be okay. That could have gotten ugly. Right at it. 13 Dead. yards on the catch and run. Yeah, Ooh. boom. Yeah, Peasley got hit too there. <laughs> Tamon Fox with the hit on Peasley. Peasley just said that one was for the boys. <laughs> it is sad. 10-3 Jets. Fake action. Peasley. To see these legs. Has the time. Now he's going to run with it. Avoids the first tackler, but gets caught from behind as Kyle Ball limits him to a four-yard pickup. got a text. We forgot Neil O'Donnell, number 14. I mean, there are a lot of Ryan 14s. Ryan Fitzpatrick was 14. McElroy. McElroy was 14. A lot, of, a lot of Jets 14. I went Richard Todd and Sam Darnold. Showing off the new side the range. and the old side. The range. Second and six. Valaday. And he's hit immediately by Cloyd. Cloyd's been all over the field this game. It's a loss of two for the Jets. Jets missed a field goal at the end of the first half. Seven-point lead with just about 11 minutes to go in the third quarter. 
Peasley last week against Carolina went 7 of 11, 33 yards. Also had four carries for 25 yards in that 15 to 12 win. When the season gets going, the Jets will be looking for their first playoff appearance since 2010. That's the longest drought in the four major sports. Buffalo Sabres as well. Peasley deep hit hard. And it's incomplete. Punting from the 39 of the Giants. It's just trying to place this one with McKenzie there. Fair catch. Mishandled it. Got on top of it, though. Nine-yard line. Dante Miller in there running back. DeVito has been the quarterback the whole way, and Miller is muscled down as he crosses the 10 after a gain of... And he's showing up tonight. Jermaine Johnson in there as well. Not in uniform. Had a chance to talk to him earlier in the preseason, and he mentioned just how much he's worked on those quick secondary moves, dealing with chips. Saw a lot of them last year. He saw it as a compliment. Commanders... Did that the entire joint practice and it reminded him oh, I'm gonna see a lot of that. That's yeah. that's part of the deal when you become a premier pass rusher flagged down Defense number 43 lined up in the neutral zone five-yard penalty And it's Codrington who was a special team standout last week in his return to his home state Carolina Called on the penalty in the neutral zone. He's gonna head off to the sideline now you mentioned those inter-squad practices. They had one with the Commanders, one with the Giants this week. Objectively, the Jets outplayed both of those teams, and that's what they're going off of. They don't need to see these guys in the preseason do this because they got their action, the number ones versus the number ones from other teams, and they fared very well. Yep, they did the same thing against Carolina the week of that game. Went down early, <laughs> so to speak, because nobody else was. They're like, all right, you could stick around. Third and two. Take the handoff. DeVito. Downfield throw. It's tip. Incomplete. Getting a piece. Jackson Sermon. Bryce Ford Wheaton, the intended receiver. And the Giants will punt. Good defensive stand from the Jets. So DeVito now, four of eight, just 22 yards through the air. Dealt with a lot of pressure in that first half. Sermon, whose father, Peter, is the defensive coordinator at Cal, played linebacker for the Tennessee Titans. On to punt it, Codrington standing at the 32. Spiraling kick, Codrington, fair catch. Mm. Indianapolis and Cleveland as well. Second down and 14 for the Jets, 8-10 remaining in the third. These two teams did play in the regular season last year, October 29th. Jets got the win 13-10 in overtime. Some nasty weather that game. It was, and for the Giants, the struggles, they were 6-11 last year. Toss it to Jackson. And picks up five yards. And that's always the interesting part about the NFL. One year, 2022, Giants found ways to win. Close games, big plays. 11 one-score wins, I believe. Yeah. Was, yeah. Going for it on fourth down on Early. a Titans, key moment. Right? Yep. And then 2023, it reverses itself. Yeah. They could not figure out how to win consistently. Obviously, the injuries, Jones going down with the torn ACL, Tyrod Taylor injured, and eventually Tommy DeVito getting a bunch of starts. Third and nine. Ooh. Peasley spins out of it, but not the second wave. Peasley hit by Whitley. Fourth down, Jets. That's a loss of nine on the play. Giants last year got embarrassed week one when they played Dallas. They lost, what, 40 to nothing? Yeah, it set uh, a serious yeah, tone. That's it. They that got the field goal blocked early, awry. and it was like, Ugh. And then they were on Monday Night Football against the Seahawks and got blown out here, and everyone was like, right. So you lose Daniel Jones. They're scratching this thing and saying, you know what? Two years ago, Daniel was great. He's got really one year on this contract. They can get out of it at the end of it if they want to. But he's making big money, obviously, and they're hopeful. Return for McKenzie. Forced out of bounds across the 35. That's an eight-yard return, a 50-yard punt by Morstead and a penalty marker at the 44. That came in late.
Giants last year just did not have a whole lot of big plays. They were, in fact, ranked last in big plays. Might have been a face mask there right at the end by Valade. And that drew the attention of the Giants. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, receiving team number 84. Mm -hmm. Thing with Reddick, he wanted the new contract from the Eagles, didn't get it. They gave him permission to seek. Oh, nice. Oh, the That's hurdle great. by Giles. That's great. Going upstairs for extra yards, 21 total. Giles, what a play. That's pure athleticism. He went over Bartholomew. Hey, that was awesome. Good for Giles. I'll get back to Reddick in a second. I want to give Giles his moment there. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Rookie out of West Florida, Division II product, the Argonauts. That's incomplete. Looking for Giles. Finish up your thought with Reddick. We have Stiggers, an uh, Argonaut of one way, and we've got this one is an Argonaut in West Florida. Um, or the Eagles, so he thought this was the time. Uh, if he's watching, hey, the Jets would love to have you, and if he's not, out of sight, out of mind, he hasn't been there before. The Jets' defense is going to be okay this season. Third and ten. DeVito brought down. The Jets tally another sack. It's McC for the gang Green D. The defense has been outstanding tonight. Tack McKinley, former first-round pick, big personality, has been around, bounced around the league quite a bit, looking to find a home with New York, and he's playing late in the third preseason game, at the very least, showing that he wants to be out there. And Ulbrich, of course, finish up for these guys. For a lot of these waves of pass rushers. Codrington, the return man, Gillen. Florida, no um, Gillen, big leg. Codrington, from the 10. Another spin move and Holmes coming. He's got some pop in the return. Injury update on the Giants side. Evan Neal will not return with an ankle injury. Neal has dealt with injuries on that offensive line for big. Here, so um, there's one standard when we step out on the field. You know, this team, we've been together since this offseason. So what we're doing out here is a product with all to come on um, in a couple weeks. You know, He's got some pop in the return. All right, fifth year here with the Jets. What are your goals? What are your, what are your expectations for this season? Uh, many things. Combination sack there from Jordan Riley and Benton Whitley as Morstead kicks it away to McKenzie from the 28. McKenzie. Hey, Isaiah. Tried to circle it to the other side, and now the Jets gang tackle him on the backs in the entire NFL. They'll be all right this year on defense. We know that. He's been with Salah every step of the way here with the Jets. Running play to Joshua Kelly goes nowhere. I don't know if I'm breaking news, but I know the Niners were interested in when they were had a vacant defensive coordinator job, maybe seeing if there was a way they can bring over Ulbrich just to inquire. It was a no. He wanted to stay here. He wanted to finish the job, obviously, with this team. There's this feeling since Salah's gotten here, Ian, it's like if we just get a quarterback on the field, like we have the defense, we have the skill position players, and Ulbrich's defense has been electric since he got here. The preseason wave is yeah. the cherry on top. Um, did not have that on my bingo card no, tonight. It just hit our section though, and I couldn't resist. It did, and we're already standing. Davido <laughs> accelerates for a first down across the 45 yard line. Jackson Sermon and Jalen Key, Mr. Irrelevant, make the play after the 17 yard game. Yes, if you're watching at home, the field, uh, there's action, but there's a wave going on in the stadium. Always wonder, when does the wave end? Does it just peter out? It does. Okay. It does. It been it's not like there's an announcement. Uh, literally thousands of sporting events, and, <laughs> and it just dies on its own. It's very organic. <laughs> Pass play underneath, connection made to Ford Wheaton. But then sometimes you get a second wave. You do. And that's what we're experiencing right now.